Hi everyone and welcome back to Exploring AWS. In this video, we are gonna look at AWS Edge locations. Now I want you to imagine for a moment that you have a web server. So imagine you, your, your web server is in AWS and you know, you're using, uh, let's just say this is a, a standard three tier application, right? So uh, we'll say that you have an NFS tier here. Right, and and why not? Maybe you have uh, an, an ALB application load balancer here, and here's your inbound web requests. Okay, so here, oops, that's supposed to be a Q, um, and that's supposed to be an E. So you have your inbound web requests that come into that application load balancer and then get fed back into that website. And obviously that website is using those backend database tiers and, and NFS tiers for, for uh, NFS shares for file storage. Now here's your, here's your user here. And let's just say that this user is in New York. And let's just say that you have a second user here. And let's just say that this user might be in China or some other part of the world. Okay. The latency that we have to deal with in China may be different than we have to deal with in New York. The latency in New York might be worse than what it is in China. Also think of the geographic location of, of the availability zone and the region that you put your data in, right? So when you when you think about all this stuff together, think about traditionally how your users may get to this your, your, your web content or whatever application that you're serving up, right? It, it, you know, can, can either user just simply type the URL in their browser? Absolutely. So each user can simply type the URL, you know, it, it resolves through DNS and, and they ultimately get to your application load balancer, they get to your website, right? But again, they don't control how their request for your website is being routed, right? They don't, they don't, they're not responsible for anything that can happen in between of getting to this point in order to get to your web content. And so again, the user in New York may have a, a harder time getting to your content than, than the user in China. So how do we solve this? Well, edge locations are essentially a third party data center. It's an AWS partner. Okay. So this AWS partner runs essentially a data center that has a direct connection into the AWS network. Okay, and this is really this is really uh, key that you understand this. So it, it's not a it's not an AWS service. It's an AWS partner that has a direct connection into the AWS network. And what this partner is doing is they're using something called CloudFront. Now, what is CloudFront? No, it's not an S there. So it's CloudFront. So what is CloudFront? So CloudFront is essentially a web service that that better distributes your content. Um, HTML, whatever it may be, it distributes your content through a through this worldwide network of different data center partners. So you picture these these partner data centers around the world that are basically running this CloudFront service, and they have this direct connection back into the AWS network. So let's just say that within China, you have we'll say AWSP for partner, and over here you have an AWS partner. Okay. So rather than the person in China, maybe being routed over to, to something in, in East Virginia or, or Northern Virginia, and then into your, your AWS uh, availability zone, you have an AWS partner data center with a direct connection into AWS's back end sitting over here in China. So rather than this user, again, being routed halfway across the world to get to your web content, this partner network has direct connection into your, into your content. And so what CloudFront does is it allows better distribution and faster distribution by routing each user request to your content through that AWS backbone network through that partner connection, through that partner data center. And this is really, really critical for you to understand because this dramatically reduces um, the number of network requests that your users may have to make, the number of different networks that they have to pass through, the number of hops, it dramatically improves performance and lowers the latency because these partner networks are all over the place and using CloudFront, it's basically a logical um, routing service. It's saying, look, I can get this user faster to the web content because I'm already here. And hey, I can get this user faster to the web content because I'm already here rather than routing this guy all the way through here. So it dramatically improves your... Uh, your response times and and the 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 content delivery to your end users wherever they may be using the edge locations and these edge locations are these AWS partner uh, data centers that are running CloudFront. 